Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the ba labs. Labs? Labs. That's the one. To Infinity Labs Season 2. We're hanging out here, and today is the day of the move. I have torn everything down and put it all in these cardboard boxes, which you just shift right click to pull off of, right click to put on of, on of, on top of something, and you break them with an axe or whatever, and you pick them up. I have packed up everything, and I'm about to just, uh, not that, well, I'm leaving that one. And I'm about to throw it all in these strong boxes, pick them all up, and work my way over to the new world. So, I'm gonna do that, and we'll see you guys on the other side. Hello everybody, we're back, and we have entered the new world. This world, Jen, is amazing. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, I'm, I'm quite happy with this, and I think we're gonna call this our spot. The world, Jen, is very different. Before it was very arid, very warm, very... Oh, just very dry and hot. But uh, this new map is quite wonderful. And uh, if you're playing on single player, you can actually generate an entire world's map, at least up to a certain extent. Um, and because our whole 6,000 by 6,000 by, what is it? No, 6,000 radius, 3,000 radius, I don't know. A massive area of chunks, uh, yeah, 3,000 radius of chunks is pre-generated. Um, there'll be no lag from exploring and world gen and stuff like that. Um, the, one of our guys, Mono, took um, the world into a single player copied it over and used journey map to pre-gen the map and gave it to me so I could look around for a new place to call home without exploring this massive area. So we found this. There are, it's very hilly, hilly very hilly place. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn kind of this area here into our new base. And I've got to get some work done real quick because I'm going to run out of hydrogen soon and I need to unpack. But I think what we're going to do is eventually we're going to clear off this area here and make a nice flat zone that we're going to call home. I do not know what the temperature of a shrubland is. I'm not sure if we'll have to do a lot of modifying and things like that for our bees. I'm really, really hoping that we don't. But the world transfer went very well. Um, we have all of our stuff. I found some dungeons, so I found a division sigil and some dark steel. And I thought I was going to have to explore forever. But... That does not seem to have been the case. So, I'm pretty excited. I, yeah, this is actually really cool. Oh, we didn't expect to have this up and running today, so I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna spend some time terraforming a little bit, maybe trying to figure out where I wanna start this terraforming at. Probably more down here. Actually, I think if I just spend some time over here, it'll be a bit easier to terraform. Yeah, we're gonna do it this way, uh, in the meadow, because that's probably a, a more sort of uh, neutral biome and I'll just pick up some of this dirt and hopefully my shovel levels up at some point here and is turns into something that's uh, a bit quicker all right we'll be right back all right so now it's time boy I feel like my microphone's really loud now it's time to start unpacking we've got our strong boxes full of goodness and somewhere oh yeah there it is the only problem with this system is I have no idea the specifics of what's inside. All I know is like, here's some diamond chests, here's some barrels, some barrels, uh, an apiary. Not really sure why I picked up an apiary in a block, but that's okay. But I think what I want to do, um, one thing is it, mob spawning is fixed in this world. So before we were having issues where there were no mobs to spawn, that is not the case anymore. So I need to build up a base and uh, fortify it with some doors this time, <laughs> which we did not use last time. So let me get going here. And the other thing that I should probably do, most of this chest is my backpack. And if I do my shift B, yep, there we go. No? Come on, backpacks. Is there a conflict? Let's look for the bees. Control J C 
T-F-H-G-O-P-R-Y-Z's button zero. Huh. That's weird. Backpacks, B. How strange. Oh, it, is it because there's nothing in it? No, I can't even open it. Let me try something. Da -da -da! It's, uh, to build on top of a building. Kind of, a little bit, sort of. It's, it's, it's a little bit of work that's got to finish, but I wanted to bring you guys in. Hello, monsters. You'll notice that I have done quite a bit of work. Um, we've got us a little building, we've got some flattened out area, and we've kind of started unpacking. These aren't staying here, these are just random spots, as I've had to look for items and stuff. Um, and I really had to light up this area well, because mobs spawn properly, that's something I'm getting used to, which means I need to make some armor ASAP. But, I'm not quite there yet. I also got my backpacks out, as we were looking at a minute ago. Um, they, I actually just had to re-spawn them in, really, is the only way I can explain that. It was very strange. Um... I, something with the transfer, I didn't like to open them, so I'm really glad I didn't store anything in them. Uh, but we had a rule about backpacks, so that's good. So, I've started to fill this place up and uh, light it up. I'm not keeping this wall. I'm not, I really am not happy with that, but we'll, uh, we'll talk about that later. And I've noticed some problems here. I'm loving this. Like, I love the orange lamps. I love the mechanism lamps. The lighting they provide is great. Um, they have a really nice kind of, like, feel to them a little ambiance wait did I miss that one no it's just off center that's fine one two I'll go from there but it will um, leave areas where yep got it where mobs can spawn inside of our base which isn't good obviously so I'm going to fix that, and I wanted to bring you guys in for the fix. I hope I have enough stuff out to do it. I don't actually think I do. So I might have to find a very particular couple of barrels and machines. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, that that looks pretty okay. But if we look at it here, we can see the center section. does It does have some issues. So... We got this pressure plate or this um, garage door really kind of closes it off. I think for this particular case, what I might do is actually put these all the way down to the bottom for that one, that part right there. Yeah, that looks better. Um, and we'll have to use, we got some spots out here that are not lit. We'll have to put some lamps around the outside. I did make two stacks of these orange lamps. I used all the plastic we had and made them before we transferred. I thought that might be a, not a bad idea, and now I'm very glad that I have. Okay, so we want to fix this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some blocks in the floor that create a bit of light. And I want to do that with some plastic. I have a crafting table around here somewhere I had to make. And basically, we get four blocks. Now, I don't really want them, well, we might leave them as white for now. You know, I should have made them like a bluish color. Light blue would have been best. Mm. Or orange even. I don't know. We'll probably change these colors later. But for now, I just need a glowstone. We'll take our three blocks and we'll do this. And it should give us three glowing blocks. And I'll have to get some more. I've been wanting to use the mechanism. There we go. Oh, oh. That's not good. These don't actually give off like virtually any light, do they? Yeah, it's barely any light at all. Oh, plastic. Um, why do I have to use an axe to break you? Well, that that is disappointing. Hmm, I was really hoping to really use those as a light source, but that's not going to cut it for us. I think what I'll be able to do, though, is just do this. And then put... Uh, can we undo this? Please don't. Oh, boy. We'll be right back. Well, 
I realized I'm back. Um, my crash. We're having an issue right now. Wow, sentences, huh? We are having an issue at the moment where if you look up the um, use of an item in NEI with a right click or U, it crashes. <sighs> don't know why, don't know um, what exactly is different to have caused that, but if you've ever moved in real life, I move a lot, I, I get transferred around a lot, so um, moving is, is messy. <laughs> moving in real life is always an adventure. And uh, moving in Minecraft is shaping up to be shockingly similar. Um, and I just, this is what I've been doing for the last few minutes. I'm desperately trying to find my redstone cache. And by cache, I mean just like hoard of items, not an actual cache, because obviously we didn't use those. Although, come to think of it, those wouldn't have been a bad idea. Although, I do hate the fact that you can't see how much stuff you have in them. That drives me insane. There's the redstone! Yes! I've done this for so many barrels, it's crazy. Alright, moving's messy. Boxes away. These ones are all still full. The ones with the black stuff on them. But other than that, we found a redstone. I need one, two, three, four redstone. And I probably could have mined that quicker. Which is going to make us some orange lamps. I actually need uh, four more redstone. One, two, three, four. Boom, bam. And we're going to grab a thing of sticks. Turn these sticks into redstone uh, torches, and then make four lamps. And we're just gonna plop them. My other idea wasn't gonna work either. We gotta get this spawn proof though. Because I do not have the stuff or the patience to make a magnum torch right now. Boom! All right. So, very factory-esque, actually, I do like the way that that turned out. So, we have a spawn-proof area to call home and start setting up some of our machines again. And, I'm a little uncertain as to how I want to go about this. The thing with some of the mechanism machines is they're so loud, you don't want them that close. And we do have them turned down in the config files by default. And my settings really aren't that loud. But, um... They, they, you know, they still are. I don't know what that was all about. They still are quite loud. And so I don't know if I want to put my actual power gen in this building. Or just kind of chuck it over to the side here. I don't really know. But we have some things working out for us now. Um, and what I'm going to do with this top floor, I haven't quite decided. Decided either, but clearly I still need walls. Now, I'm going to have to, I don't know what my favorite method of moving these barrels is going to be, but we do definitely need to find a way <laughs> to get them from here to where we're going to sort them to, because we're still doing the whole logistics pipes things, we're still doing the same, the mechanism logistics pipe uh, focused early game, and eventually we'll move on to applied logistics and stuff like that, um, but for now that's how we're going to keep it like this. And the thing with this build, or this style of play, is you, you do have to think a little bit more about where you're going to put your stuff. In some ways. I, I guess you have to think about the same amount as you do with AE, but this way, this way, um, the pipes are bigger. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that makes it. There's still one block. But we, we have to think about this a little bit. So I think what I want to do... is probably... I, I'd like my manual machines just over here. And then we'll do our automated machines along this side with our wall of many things is what's going to happen. Now, the reason I had this wall like this is because I knew I was going to be putting a lot along it. I really hate this texture. I don't know what possessed me to go with this. And it's not going to stick, though. There's no way. So I think I might actually make this wall kind of solid almost all the way up except for these slats. And then make this the wall of barrels. And then we'll have a requester pipe. Because we didn't really use our requester pipe after we set it up. And that's because I really only had half of the things I wanted in it. In the requesting system. So this way you can come in, see everything you've got. 
and then you can automatically process it. Processing will be, actually, I guess processing should be along this side. Take it over here. Well, I'm left-handed, so my nature is to say process and then come around this way. It's also clockwise. And then manual will be over here. So let's start setting that up. I think, obviously, first, though, I, that doesn't really cover where we're going to put our power gen. And I've got these windmills, and I've got this island up here. I'm wondering... Nah, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to use the windmills right now. I, I will for basic startup stuff if I have to create any power, but we do have a good amount of health, a healthy amount of power stored in here. Um, we've got our backpack back going. Let's throw these in here for now. And I'm really not using my axe at all. And we'll actually throw the lamps in there as well. And then as far as our building material goes, we're just going to put a quick pause on that. So we'll throw all of our building material back in here. And then we have some misc stuff, which I don't really care about right now. That's the chest I want there. Just throw all this in here. Just because I'm not really worried about that. And I need to get things sorted out. So, we've got some gas burning generators. Those need to be filled with ethylene. We've got um, <coughs> our bedrock game drum that was so graciously donated. I don't know if I remember if it was Tree or Nasuno who donated that. But that we left filling up. So, we have quite a bit of liquid ethylene. And I don't know that I'm going to set up the dynamic tank as much as I'm just going to use this again. And then we'd also like to get, uh, what are in these barrels? I'd have to figure that out. Get some stuff going. So let's get this going. Let's make it a bit more efficient than last time. Last time we had it all stacked up and I liked it, but it, again, it wasn't very space efficient at all or cable efficient. And that's the big thing that I'm looking for. So I think what I'm going to do, as I say, I'm not really using my ax. I find a tree, a single solitary tree. Literally a single solitary log. Wow, that was awesome. I'll just plop you here for now. <laughs> Wait, was it a solitary log or are you messing with me? No, it had a friend. Stupid logs and your friends. There are other people on the server right now. Mono came back on, Treefish is on. But Treefish had a horrible accident with a strong box that um, he was able to consolidate using Applied Energistics. Basically all of his stuff into one strong box. And when he picked it up, he crashed, and then it got deleted by ClearLag, or LagBeyond is what we're using right now, the plugin that deletes uh, rogue items pretty regularly. Um, and unfortunately, that meant that like literally everything he got was lost. So he's in creative right now, kind of trying to bring all that back. So instead of letting you guys watch the spam of stuff that's coming in, I figure I'd just shut off the multiplayer chat and let this... Uh, and work on this build with you on camera. All right. Let's clear this out a little bit. So I kind of think what I might do is I'll probably after the fact, I'll add like a, a technical block retainer wall kind of thing to this build, uh, to right here anyways. Making sure that all of the dirt stays up. But here's what we know happens. We know that if I do this one, Now, I don't know if this is going to work because they only output certain faces. I believe power comes out the front, right? And they're already full of ethylene. So we'll put our power... And really what I'm looking for this to be is efficient on energy cabling. Let's go get some of that. This has most of our high powered energy cables in here. Interesting. Why are they running? That's all right. Okay, so obviously we'll need to make more, but that'll do that. And then what we need coming in is gas conduits. Now, I'm just going to bring this whole chest over here. Plop. Where is it? We have some advanced pressurized tubes. I'm not really sure these are necessary right now. So we'll just use the basic ones. What'll probably happen, and I don't know if this is going to be overkill or not, but we'll do this. 
right? Because it's, it's a gas coming in. Yeah, that'll be fine, actually. That'll be quite all right. We'll, we'll probably have to bring this out some. So this will be our main generating wall. Yeah, that's all right. Looks kind of neat. I hope this accepts the gas from both sides. I'm just gonna figure it out. Let's do, I guess I can turn this off, huh? So then what we'll have is, let's have our ethylene producing system over here, our gas conversion system over here. And we'll bring our, um, well, I don't need this gas to come over here actually ever. We'll have our cables run underneath, but what we've been doing is we've been taking a rotary condensator. Uh oh, there they are. Right? You full of stuff? Liquid ethylene and ethylene? And you are probably empty. So, this is condensating, which should be going the other way. Yeah, that's right. So we'll take the gas one. Throw you down here. There we go, and it's outputting gas into that. And then all we have to do So we'll just dig underneath a little bit. We will need a bit of subflooring here, or you know, space to work underneath. Not subflooring is not really the right word. Yeah, we'll definitely need a bit of a basement to work under here with. My shovel did actually level up, I forgot to mention, which was awesome, and got haste. As Leveling up was one thing, getting haste as well, that's, you know, oh, these creeper bosses. This is a bug, by the way. I think these are supposed to be blizzes. The thing is, they're really weak, and that's, I get blizz rods from them. There's some sort of ID conflict with those, but um, they're clearly not actual bosses. I've already got another blizz. Oh, Minecraft. All right, pressure hard cable. We gotta get our gas over to this side as well. Which I think I'll do by running along like this. Wow. All right. So those are all gassed up and they are producing power. Now, for the most part, what I need to worry about getting is power from here over to our base. And you know, I would have put it right there, but the covers look a little derpy sometimes. And I really, I need it to be lower than that floor, which when we look at it, it needs to be at the very, very least this low right so that's the center there so we'll take our ultimate universal we'll run it right on down Ooh, that's pressurized tube is not yeah it is um excuse me I need to get over here. Oh, thank you. All right, so then I, at least I know my cable is there for now. That makes sense? Yeah, that, that, that'll work. Okay, so we do have power coming this way. It's not really being produced by much, but it's being produced. That's easy. Now the next part of this is getting the, are you kidding me? Where is it? Also, why does my map think it's underground? Let me go figure this. He seems to have disappeared. And he's not bothering me anyway, so it's alright. 
Okay, so now we need the, um, one of these makes, that's the wrong one. I need this one over here. Over here. First, you come over here. Now this will produce ethylene when receiving biofuel. So it will need power and we'll throw that in the bottom of it. Okie dokie. And we'll also need to get our biofuel. So I will need to make a farm. And I may do that right up here with another retaining wall. Um, but I probably won't set that part up on camera because you've seen that. But once we come out of there, what we need is... Well, we need the gas to be turned into a liquid. Hold on. Let me get this straight. So... There will be a gas being output from here. Right? That is not the right cable. And this gas, I usually have... I remember now. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy peasy. What I'd like to do is see if this works. Pick up our condensator and put it right next to this. Now that particular spot won't work because it will output the liquid. Well, it, the liquid it won't actually make it into the gas generator. So we want to go from this to that. And I would like to say on the left hand side, output gas. All right, so it actually remembered, which is pretty crazy in my opinion. It'll do directly to that. And then what can happen is pretty simply we'll take some of our mechanical pipe which is all picked up because I am not using it for what I was before and I I will need to make some more, that's for sure. But I'll do this with mechanical pipe this time. Yes. Okay. So we'll come right down with this. And go into. Well, actually. Come around over here. Now, I realize if I, if I used. Well, A, if I used Ender IO, that would be one thing. Um. And I could keep this all in one block. Like, we don't have to worry about all this, including the gas. And we may do that at some point. However, we have disabled the gas um, and applied energistics and IO conduits because some of you may not know this, but if you run a server and you have a lot of people on the server, and like by a lot, I don't know what a lot of people think a lot is. That was a funny sentence. I don't know what people think a large server is. But when you're playing with this many mods, it doesn't take that many people, you know, five or six that are careless with chunk loaders. And our guys are pretty good. Like, they're, they're careful. But it doesn't take a lot of people. We have, um, the most I've seen on the server at any, like, exact moment was uh, 11, I think. And that was, like, the highest instance. But there's about 20 guys that come and go, and girls, um, that come and and go throughout the server and have large bases and when things are loaded there um, you know it takes a lot of resources to run this kind of a server and so you may or may not be aware of the fact that ender IO conduits are actually quite hard on a server and it's because of the way they connect and the way that the um, in order to like move information from one block to another with the possibility of having five different kinds of well essentially different sets of information going through there you have to have a system that checks almost every connection and because of that they they actually do a lot of hard ticks on the server and so we've decided to try and trim the fat a little bit on things that do some ticking and make it so that 
we can't use NRIO cables for everything because that's that's kind of the go-to because they're amazing. I love NRIO. They are quite good cables, but they've been a bit of an issue, so we've disabled a, you know some of them. Not a lot of people were using the mechanism ones. In fact, I'm not even certain the mechanism ones are working fully yet with the new mechanism. But um, in order, like, in the best pre preser preservation of the server, in order to better preserve the server, <laughs> sorry, that took a while to get out. We've had to dis disable some of those, but I also I really like this like factory spaghetti look. It's just really really cool to me, um, and so that's uh. There we go. We're filling with ethylene. We're creating power. So that's always like been a really. Uh, interesting thing for me to see. I'm gonna start by putting this, I guess, down here. It's probably the best place for it. Obviously, this bottom part will have to be accessible. And then let's just turn you until you're doing what you're supposed to do. Uh. Huh? Did my mechanism controls get changed? Mechanism, mechanism, mechanism. M. Yeah. What the? My configurator's not changing. Let me check something. Okay, so it's rotating again. I, it's because the, the, the chat was turned off. So we want it on this side, and then we want it on that side. There we go. Good deal. Okay. So now I can turn the chat back off now that I've seen that. Um, multiplayer, chat off. Okay. So that should be filling, and then that will be outputting power to the rest of our base. I'm not going to, as I said, I'm not going to show the setting up the farm, but we do have a couple more pieces of things to think about. We have our crushing factory, which will be bringing stuff in here. And really, what we'll do... Well, that actually is an interesting thought. Um, we'll probably put our crushing factory... I want to say right beside this, but that's not the best idea because you can never build up a surplus, which we won't really be getting into a whole huge surplus, but... Actually, you know the man. Yeah, we're well, not going to worry about a surplus. So we're going to say output on the dark blue side, and you will input items on the back side. Yeah, there we go. And so if I go and get some wheat, which probably don't have a huge amount of, but I do have some of because I chopped down the farm much longer after. Oh, wow. Very, very few, actually. Let's just crush you up. Hello? Hello! What put up your silly thing? Danger. Swing away. You're going to auto-eject to the left. So this will make up our biofuel. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we are creating our ethylene. Oh, and it is going right into there, which is just fantastic. We don't see as much of the flowing coolness, but uh, that's all right. I don't mind this at all. Once it has enough, I think it needs about a bucket, really, to do this. Oh, it also needs power. <laughs> Doesn't need a bucket, just needs lots of power. Did that get siphoned out? It did, it's just we never really saw it because the concentration wasn't high enough to see in the cable. And we'll fix all this with covers and things. We'll make it look all nice and fancy and we'll probably change the floor style actually a little bit uh, as opposed to just leaving it. Oh no, we did change the floor before as well. Oh, sorry. So, everything's powered on this end and that is a complete system. 
All we need now is to worry about the farming and the input of the farming items. And then obviously the dumping of the excess substrate. Now over here, I knew I saw, I saw this and I don't even remember what I put in here. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Please tell me you don't spawn if it's, uh, crap. Will a cardboard box pick up a spawner? hi yi yi How did I forget that that's what was in there? Oh my word. <laughs> Anyways, and it broke in the process, so... Moving my... Actually, I'm pretty sure you can just pick these up, can't you? Yeah, you can. What am I talking about? I don't know why I did that. So we'll put you in here. And then our water and our hydrogen input we have to worry about a little bit. So we'll just have to do water and hydrogen, I guess. Well, I don't know. I really don't know how I want to go about that. I hate this thing being on top. And I don't know why I keep doing that. For now, what we'll say is um, eject that way. Yeah. So this would continually create. I just got to refill the system that, or rebuild the system that actually produces the wheat. And then we'll have power. And I'm hoping soon we'll be able to get into some of these new mechanism multi -tier, multi block storage systems that are amazing. So good. So, so good. All right. Let me see here. What else we got in here? I gotta make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Gas tank, that's got ethylene in it. Oh yeah, we did want to have... a small um, sort of buffer of gas. The thing is, it looks so bad. <laughs> That's all right. It does look terrible, but we really don't mind that much. This looks good enough to keep up with it. All right. So I think that, that we're going to call that there. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Got another um, series coming up soon. Uh, not not the Indiana Jones one. Another Minecraft series coming up soon with uh, another person. That should be really fun. So uh, that'll actually be quite an adventure. Uh, and I, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. That's all I'm going to say about that right now, though. Hello, sir. I think next episode, I'm going to have most of this moved in. And just in case I don't, well, even if I don't, actually, we do need to focus on some armor and maybe even a ranged weapon. I don't know how what I usually am a pretty poor. I don't use ranged weapons that much, even when I have them. But um, we're going to focus on moving in and taking care of ourselves a bit more because this just ain't going to cut it. I actually had an iron helmet at one point. I don't know what I guess it broke. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. Really looking forward to playing on the new server setup and the new world gen. And hopefully things don't take up so much of our time fixing and breaking that uh, I'll be able to get some more episodes out quicker. So until next time, I've been Tausty. Thanks for hanging out in the labs. Hang up your lab clips on the way out. And we'll see you next time. Deuces.